Welcome to DJI Avada 2 tutorial. We will guide you through the first use process of the product. Pre-flight preparations. Remove the gimbal protector. Press the power button on each device to check the battery level and make sure there is enough battery power. Choose an open, unobstructed environment to fly in. Press and then press and hold the power button for two seconds to power the aircraft on. Place the aircraft on flat ground with the rear facing you. Press once, then press and hold for two seconds to power on the motion controller and goggles. Unfold the antennas. Adjust the forehead pad downward to the lowest position. Put on the goggles and rotate the headband adjustment knob on the battery compartment to adjust the length of the headband. If your eyes are too close to the lenses, install the additional forehead pad to increase comfort. If your vision is in the range of minus 6.0D to plus 2.0D, rotate the knobs on the bottom of the goggles to adjust the diopters. The screen in the goggles will display the diopter value when rotating. Follow the steps to adjust the diopters. Rotate both the knobs to unlock them. Once unlocked, the knobs will pop out. Slide left and right to adjust the distance between the lenses until the image is properly aligned. Close your left eye and adjust the right knob to change the diopters until the camera view is clear. Close your right eye and adjust the left knob to change the diopters until the camera view is clear. Rotate the knob and lock once the camera view is clear. First flight. Check the flight live view in the goggles to make sure that there are no warning prompts and that the GPS signal is strong. Beginner mode. For safety reasons, the aircraft flies in beginner mode by default for the first flight. In beginner mode, the flight speed of the aircraft will be limited. Use the AR cursor. Press the 5D button to open the goggles menu. Go to Settings, Status to exit beginner mode. Take off, landing. Press the lock button twice to start the aircraft motors. Then press and hold the button again to make the aircraft take off. The aircraft will ascend to approximately 1.2 meters and hover. Press and hold the lock button while the aircraft is hovering to land it automatically and stop the motors. Aircraft Control Press or push the accelerator to make the aircraft fly forward or backward. There are two stops when pressing the accelerator. Gently press the accelerator users will feel noticeable resistance when the accelerator reaches the first stop. When the accelerator is not pressed, the aircraft will hover. At this time, you cannot adjust the aircraft's orientation by tilting the top of the motion controller to the left or right, but can tilt it up and down to control the gimbal's tilt. Gently press the accelerator to the first stop and simultaneously tilt the motion controller to the left to make the aircraft rotate counterclockwise or to the right to make it rotate clockwise. The following operations are incorrect. Man cannot change the aircraft's orientation. Press the accelerator to the second stop to make the aircraft fly in the direction of the circle in the goggles. At this time, tilt the motion controller up or down to make the aircraft send or descend at an angle. Tilt the top of the motion controller in either direction to make the aircraft rotate. The circle in the goggles will move according to your gestures, and the aircraft will fly in the direction of the circle in the goggles. Apply more pressure when pressing the accelerator to accelerate. Push the accelerator forward to fly the aircraft backward. Braking and hovering. Release the accelerator to stop and hover. You can also press the lock button to brake and hover in place. After which, the orientation of the aircraft and the gimbal tilt cannot be controlled by tilting the motion controller. This allows the AR cursor to be used to change settings in the goggles. Press the lock button again to resume flight control. Joystick control. Move the joystick on the motion controller up or down to make the aircraft ascend or descend vertically. Move it left or right to make the aircraft move left or right horizontally. 
You can operate the accelerator and the joystick simultaneously to control the flight attitude of the aircraft. Switching flight modes and recording. The motion controller has two modes, normal mode and sport mode. Normal mode is selected by default. Press the mode button once to switch between normal mode and sport mode. While flying in sport mode, the flight speed of the aircraft will be faster. The operation logic of the motion controller remains the same in sport mode as it is in normal mode. Press shutter record button to take a photo or to start or stop recording. Press and hold the switch between photo and video mode. Head tracking function. Open the shortcut menu from the flight live view and enable head tracking. When head tracking is enabled, the horizontal orientation of the aircraft and the gimbal tilt can be controlled through head movements. In head tracking mode, the motion controller cannot control the gimbal tilt, and only control via the aircraft is available. Return to home. The home point is recorded when the GNSS icon is white during takeoff or flight. A prompt will appear in the goggles to confirm the home point has been updated. During flight, the goggles display the symbol H to indicate the location of the last recorded home point of the aircraft. Press and hold the mode button on the motion controller to initiate RTH. The aircraft will fly back to the last updated home point. When the aircraft is performing RTH, press the lock button once to cancel RTH. After exiting RTH, users will regain control of the aircraft. The aircraft will also activate RTH or land in the following situations. When the current battery level is only sufficient for performing RTH, a prompt will appear on the goggles confirming whether to initiate RTH. When the current battery level is only sufficient for landing, the aircraft will initiate force landing. When the remote control signal or video transmission signal is lost, the aircraft will perform RTH by default. Thank you for watching.